that we finna go to the club. Link up with my friend Naya. If you don't know who she is, she been in a couple of videos, but we finna lit this whole night though. And possibly you might see some donuts in the next clip. I don't know. Maybe. But uh hey y'all, y'all already know what's up. What's up, bro? We finna get lit though. We going on a yacht today. Y'all already know, look at the views right now, man. It's finna be crazy. Y'all gonna see some girls getting turned up. Wow, 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 wow. Hey man, this Miami trip been crazy though. I wanted to record in a club, but we couldn't. Cause like we would get in trouble for doing that. But like I said, look at the view and stuff like this. Good patio. We might do a mukbang this weekend. I don't know. But we finna be we finna take some lit pics. I might put it in the next slide. But we finna get lit though. And look at the fit though, man. Everybody rate their fit right now. You know, look at the back of the shirt, man. You know? What does it say? Make money, not friends. That's crazy. I don't even know my own shirt name. That's crazy, but hey, we finna get lit. Watch the clip, next clip, but hey, let's go. All right, y'all, we finna go to the yard right now. We wanna sit all day, we can sit in the back. Y'all already know, I do not like sitting in that middle. No middle seat. Huh? Oh, it's spacious in here. Northwest 16th Terrace. Turn right on Northwest 16th Terrace. Then pick up Daniel on the right. Pick up Daniel on the right. Yeah, I am Daniel. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, because we're doing a stop. That's why. Pick up Daniel on the right. On. I'm like, it's two Daniels. <laughs> Please use your seatbelt for your safety. Oh, 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 oh okay. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> that thing sound like my car. <laughs> Right here. Yeah. You getting out too? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You said no. You want me to come with you? I can. I thought you were just going in. Yeah. In and out. But I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Then I'll go. Okay. 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 Ah, look how beautiful Miami looks right now. Look at that, we finna be lit, bro. I can't wait. First time on a yacht, I'm finna get back in the car. Okay. The homie Mike. This camera quality is crazy. This boy in a Camaro clean. He said he gonna jump in the water. I don't even know if that's true or not. He gonna do a backflip. 2024 we lit just hopped out the uber at the yacht place hey i would live out here but i don't know the traffic be so good you know i didn't drive here though okay, i had to catch my i'm not driving bro Randy gonna be off that juice you gonna be off that juice <laughs> He's a thumbnail. I should edit it. Crazy. Yeah. Spicy Velma. <laughs> Ready to go. Where Kayla and I'm at? I imagine I gave the wrong address. Oh, yes, yes. Like Where's Scott? She said she's here. She said she was here. 
this gotta be it. It's like y'all place. Where are y'all? Where are y'all? Gate five. Oh, this gate seven. So gate five down here. This nigga out of here. Dang. That man was. That's that gas mill. You see us? No. All right, back. We lit right now, y'all. Look at the G Fazos. Clean. Street. He trying to get smacked. Oh, you right here. I'm so slow. How did I not notice she was right here? I'm so dumb, I don't even know. Don't fucking get hit. Oh. That's actually a fire. Right there. Oh. Oh. Drink, that, that, drink that sea salt, bro. You got Scott right here. Second time linking up. Hey, what's up? Yacht? Yacht. I'm so excited. That camera that. clean. Let me see. It's oh, this. Right oh, now. it got like a mirror. We can see it's each other. Recording. That's fire. I need to get that. Yeah. That's lit. Oh, because he got a camera in the front. Let me see. Oh, I got a camera right there, too. That's lit. We waiting on Kayla Friend. Yeah, wait right on. We still waiting for people too? Yeah, like three people, I think. This us right here? Last? Oh, it's the one at the end. I think it is. The one all the way at the end. I was telling her they had like all a bunch of random. Yeah. I feel like they might have I was gonna say, I know this ain't our boy right here, boy. A badger? <laughs> Bro, this? They had all that in that venue. That's crazy. Oh, this is a gator? Oh, I thought it was a gator. I'm scared. See, that place got me paranoid. <laughs> I thought it was like a gator. Don't fall. Yeah, bro. What? Oh, she got your phone? 
Like and we really on the yacht right now. This is my first time being on the yacht though. We lit. Hey. We don't need this. They are not four. Tell them to come by. It's so hot outside. What's in here? What's in here? Really wear these oh, though. Nah, it's so packed up in here, bro. Like a lot of people. I'm high. I don't care what he's saying. I'm high, bro. It's not Mexican like me. You see this hoodie? Super good quality, but you gonna sweat in this quality. This winter quality. That's 180. Wait, what? This 180. That's what it says? Yeah. Damn, this one says one. Yeah, this is good quality. Yeah, the qualities are crazy on here. That's why it's a quality t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's probably 80 bucks. I'm just playing. Oh, how much is it? 120? Bro, let me see, show them the camera again. Look how much, this shirt right here, bro. Is 120. You can literally go to a step store and print it out yourself. I like the jeans though. These jeans go crazy right here. The hats is fire though. I ain't gonna lie. Look at the hats. Hats are lit. What is under though? What is that? What brand is it? I don't even know. Well, they better be Texans. I don't know who they are. One fit. Go cop. Mm -hmm. Cop that. Oh, you wearing this? I was just thinking the same about you, dude. You for real? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing this, bro. <laughs> Crazy. Bro, it's people really be wearing it. Dude's wearing a, a crop top. He really think I would wear that. Hey, we got Cologne in here too. These the ones I got. Oh yeah, the Miami. How much is they? Two fifty. How much you pay for yours? No. <laughs> How much you think I pay for mine? Like one. One fifteen. One fifteen. Yeah, you gotta think like how when they come to these shoes right here, they go up in price when they see everybody buying them. Yeah. That's why I knew. Like you gotta think. Wait, that's why I knew this was gonna be more because you was like these fire rainy. Yeah, the fucking. These Miami, is hard though. Miami Heat colors. And am I still? Cop, I'm just playing 250. They're crazy. I could have kept those shoes, sold them. I could have bought three. I could have bought three pairs of those shoes. Oh, no, I didn't. I could have bought three of those for 115 for like 360, and then I would have made like 246, probably like 700 after tax, something 800. 
That's crazy, ain't it? That's what sneaker people do, though. Man, yeah, big ass like, I feel like it's like their team. Now, I know you guys made it all the way towards the end. And yes, that clip was like three weeks ago in Miami. I had a good time. It was super fun. But it's like a lot of stuff that has been on my mind, honestly. And I'm not finna edit this part out. It's not finna be no cuts or anything like this. It's finna be raw footage right here. But um, this is for the people who's watching right now. Um, I just want to say a couple of things that was on my mind lately in my life from like the last year of my life and this year of my life last year was kind of crazy because i cut off one of my closest friends to me of a long time and it's crazy that like on the journey of me doing this content stuff it's like i'm losing a lot of friends on the midst of doing all of this and yeah i get to the point of like why am i doing this am i doing this because i love it and if I love it so much, I'm going to lose friends while doing it. Is that going to make me happy? But this is like, when you're on a journey like this of YouTube, making content, this is stuff that happens. And it's not even just the content thing. It just, it seemed like my friends been exposing themselves to me without even trying now. And it's crazy. And it's like mentally, it gets to me every single day. So sometimes I can't even make like content sometimes because there's so much stuff on my mind with people and just my content and just my supporters there's so much stuff going on my head like it's overwhelming me sometimes sometimes i try to make the best content for everybody but like to like talk about what happened in miami was kind of crazy you know i went to my this like my third time going to miami so the third time i try to make this trip the best trip of all time basically um i made sure i paid for the airbnb for my friends I pay for a car for my friends. I didn't tell none of my friends to go half or nothing like that because I wanted everybody to have a good time. And I'm not going to say people's names in the video because I just don't want to say nobody's name. If you know who the person is, then you know, but obviously you probably don't even know who my friend's name is. But, um, yeah, while I was there in Miami, honestly, it was going good at the beginning until someone in particular had really messed with my mood and really was getting to me. One of my closest friends that I knew for a long time. And it makes me so like feel like angry inside because I give so much to my friends. And it's just like, how can they like come back towards me and act this type of way towards me when I'm so nice to people? I think I'll be so nice to people to the point when I tell people no, they get very upset and be like, dang, you a bad person, you this or that. Are you acting weird? You acting no, bro. I give more than my friends give to me. And that's the honest truth. Every time my friend asks me for money or anything, I'm always giving to people all the time. They never want to think of me because they obviously think that, Rainy, you're a YouTuber. You got all of this. Why do these people think that if you're a YouTuber, you got money, you got this or that? Or it's because you don't have a nine to five. You can handle anything. You don't have no problems, bro. I have problems just like you. And that's the thing that these people don't understand, though. My life is getting crazier and crazier by the day of me being a content creator bro especially with friends though i ain't gonna lie when you try to make friends while I'm, while you're doing stuff like this when you get farther and farther hitting every milestone you don't know who's really most of the time you don't know who really want to be your friend is because they genuinely like you as a person or because they see what you got going on in your life and that's what's tricky about all of this stuff man and i'm gonna be honest i only got like a few good friends that i can like think of at the top of my head uh, like I said, I'm not saying names, but they know who they are. They treat me good and good friends. But besides that, the other people are not my real friends. And the funny thing is they don't even realize it that how I feel. But if you're watching this feeling, you think I feel some way about you, it probably is you that I, I really don't like or and I just noticed something. And the thing about me is I do play dumb like I don't know what's going on. That's the thing. I do play dumb. But it's just the fact that, man, I do probably need better people in my life. Not probably. I do. You know, people with the same mindset as me, because if I don't get people with the same mindset as me, then they're going to think they can keep taking advantage and keep taking advantage. And it's not kind of crazy because even my friends that I had back in L.A. from last year is like those are people that I thought was my friends, my my everything, because like I don't have friends in my city where I live at. So it's like every time I was going to L.A., I feel like that was more of my friends that. We gonna grind together. We gonna do this together. And I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't even like partying. But like when I went to LA, I did go to parties. I did do this or that club and all that. 
just like I did Miami. So it's like when I do step out to these places like Miami or LA, I do go out. I do try to have fun because I'm always in the house recording videos for y'all, which y'all probably don't realize that, man, I'm getting older. I'm almost 27 years old. I still have to enjoy my life. I can't just be sitting in the house just making content for y'all for so long. But it's just like, I don't know, man. You know, sometimes I think, though, should I keep doing this content, though? Should, could I, should I stop or not? But it's like my passion because, like, I've been doing this since I was, like, 12 or 13 years old doing YouTube. It's like, for me to stop doing this, man, I it really will hurt me, honestly, because it's like, this is something that I really enjoy doing, making content. And it's sometimes I don't even want to edit a video because I want all my content to be pure and come from my heart. I want everything to be real. But it hurts me still thinking about this right now, and I know y'all don't really care. It's like... Cause one of my best friends uh, from my last trip. That's really crazy, bro. A friend of like seven, eight years. I really had to cut them off. And it felt like I was being used, bro. It don't feel like it was a genuine friendship with that person. And it just like, it just don't even feel right. You know, even the person said, you could talk to me about it. But it's just like, the people who's my friend, they know what they be doing, bro. They really think they slick and stuff like that. And I don't want to ask nobody for nothing, none of my friends or anything. I want prayer relationship with my friends. I don't want my friendship to be transitional to where it feel like you got to buy your friendship from somebody in order to keep it. I don't want that, bro. I just want a real relationship. And all my friends that I was friends with, they always feel like I have to do something for them in order to stay friends with me. I don't have to do nothing, man. Work hard on your own. Do it. All my friends that I was with, Back in L.A. or now, I always help them, bro. I had a friend that I helped so much that was crazy. And I didn't even get a knowledge for helping them. And if they watching this too, bro, you know I helped you a lot. Like, that's the thing. But it's just like, bro, I'm going to just keep moving forward, bro. The thing is, anybody I ever cut off, I don't have no hate towards them at all, bro. Like, I'm just focused on myself right now. And I'm going to keep grinding. And I wish anybody who's watching, even the people I cut off, I hope you become successful in life. But one thing about me, it's kind of hard to become friends with me again because most of the time when I cut people off, I keep moving. And it's hard to reveal, I mean, revive those relationships that I have. See, look, I'm not cutting nothing out. I don't care if I mess up on the word, I'm not cutting it out. But dang, man, it's crazy, bro. I just want positivity, bro. Like, how it's crazy how I'm a friend that fly my friends out. I pay for my friends' plane tickets to go places. I pay for the Airbnb. I pay for, I pay for all that. And it don't really matter to people, bro. Because I know for a fact if roles were, was reversed, would they do the same? And you probably like, bro, it's not about that ring if they went, but it truly would they actually do the same? And that was my position. Would they look out for me? They would probably say, yes, I would. But honestly, would you do that? Most of the time, no, they wouldn't. But like I said, I'm just trying to have a fun time. Now, I do want to plan a trip again to Miami around my birthday time, but it's just like, do I do something like that and show love to all my friends or make them go show love to me too? Because it's like, it can't be like that, man. If anybody watching this, bro, if you got a friend out there who's trying to use you for anything, it could be the stupidest thing. They, they, they might be using you for a car ride all the time. They might be using you for money. They might be using you because you look the coolest and you got the best style. People use you for the dumbest things, man. But sometimes, man, not use, being used all the time cannot be the worst thing ever. Because people could do more than just use you nowadays, man. People can be jealous and envy of you. So it's just the fact that you just got to keep your mind level and you got to know your surroundings and know the people you, that's in your circle. And that's why I say the more pro more people you got in your life, the more problems you create. Like if you got all of these people around you all the time, you're going to have more problems. If you got two friends, then you're probably not going to have that much problems. But I'm not going to say I got hundreds of friends. Don't let that fool you. I don't have hundreds of friends. I just have a lot of people I know, but like I said, I when I'm back in my city, I don't hang with nobody. Zero people. All my friends that I was hanging with on these videos and stuff that y'all see in this vlog, they live in different states. They don't live in the same state as me, bro. And like, yeah, some of the people in the clips I really do mess with still to this day. But there's some people, I mean, there's people in that clip. I'm not going to say some of those people in that clip or person in that clip. Person in that clip, not people. Person in that clip. That I genuinely don't even mess with no more. So it's just like, you know, it's crazy. If you can catch on, you can. But I don't think you can catch on to the person. Because they, you're not going to catch on to the person who it is. If you are, you're a smart person. But I, I highly doubt it. 
who you gonna catch on to but man this is crazy i know i've been yapping for a minute bro but i just hope that this year my life be changed to where i can help people around me and become successful we gonna speak to two existence bro i'm gonna become one of the biggest youtubers you ever seen and i'm gonna look out for people i'm gonna grind way more harder i'm gonna make sure i push more content out i'm not gonna keep trying to overthink every single thing you know i'm in a basement right now making content for you because i love doing this stuff you know even when i was doing this reaction with all these girls you know how hard was it for me to put all this stuff together with these reactions with these girls and stuff that stuff is hard bro everybody you see in this vlog like i said they're from different states I literally had to plan this out like two months ahead, three months ahead for everybody to fly in and come together. Who does that, bro? It's like I'm the ring leader of doing that. I have to be in control. I'm the, I understand I'd be the host in doing this sometimes, but just people don't, I don't want people to put the like blame on me or put so much baggage on me. That's what stressed me out, which people don't understand that. For me to try to put this together is freaking hard. It is. But um, not only that, man, like I said, I always want people to have a good time. And I'm like, the thing is, I be forgiving, bro. I'm a forgiving person. That's the thing about me. And then once I flip or go get mad, people think I'm the problem because I got so much inside me. Maybe it's anger or something. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I just don't want people to get into my head, bro. I genuinely love everybody who's watching this video. If you made it to the end, raise your hand and say, Rainy, I'm here for you. I'm your friend. Comment that if you did make it to the end. But, like, I know I'll be yapping so much, but, like, I just hope that everybody who's watching, keep good people around you all the time, you know. But like I said, I got good people around me, some good people around me. I like the way I'm saying some, but uh, it's crazy, man. Life is it's, it's going by fast every day and every day. That's why every day... Uh, I'm trying to live my best life and, and accomplish all my goals at the same time because I could just strictly just do YouTube all day and don't go out of town or don't go out to a try to go to a different country or something and just be locked in. But like, I feel like I can't be just caved in, just making content all day. That will make me go insane, honestly, just making content all the time and not get out the house because I had to get out. But at the same time, like I said, if I want to do these trips and stuff, I can't let people take advantage of me, and I'm sticking that to my word that nobody's taking advantage of me, no matter who you are, and it's so crazy, one thing I noticed too, this day and age has changed, you know, like I said, friendships are transitional, I think with more of with women, like if you got friends that's girls, like I do, I have a lot of girls as friends, I don't really have a lot of guy friends, I only probably got like two, two guy friends, three guy friends. Man, I, they, like I said, they don't live in the same state as me, so I don't hang with them all the time. So it's just like, when it comes to my female friendships, they thought that since they are a girl, then they got to get money or something out of it, which indeed, they don't need no money from me. That's a friendship. We're not together. We're friends. So act like a friend. You want me to treat you like a friend? You go be a friend. It's so crazy because... It's not a lot of guys can be friends with girls and don't think they want something from it. And y'all know what I mean. Bang, bang, bong, bong. If you know what I mean, you know. But the thing is, man, these people are crazy. Because I just want a friendship with people and that's it. You know, I want nothing out of it. Just be a good friend. That's it. I want your money. I don't want nothing. I just want your time and a good energy from you. That's the only thing I want. I don't want nothing else from somebody, bro. That's crazy, man. People make it so complicated. And I understand people like being around me because they like who I am. They know they can be themselves around me, and they like it. But it's just the fact that Randy can't keep a loudness in his life to keep happening. They got to get eliminated from my life. So if you're being toxic to me, you're getting eliminated. You're going to be done, finished. You're finished, done. Talking to you, bro. Anybody who's watching. You think you're going to use me? I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb, bro. Nobody. I'm not dumb. So don't think you're going to get over with me and get stuff from me because you're not. Rainy is not the guy that you got to mess with like that. But like I said, that vlog was lit. I know. Put that kind of section that, that vlog right there was lit. I ain't going to lie. I need to do. I need to start doing more vlogs and stuff. I want to put it on my second, like make another channel for just vlog. But just the f fact that where I live at is so boring. I just need to live and move to a different state so I can make better content. Because if I move, I can make way better content. And y'all gonna be lit with me. But, um, that's all I gotta say, man, for real. But, 
like I said, man, it, it made me sad. Cut off one of my closest friends. Angle, I made me want to cry. It really did, though. It made me sad. And I'm going to say one thing. And obviously, I don't know who the person is. One thing one of my friends said to me while we was on a trip. that Why the freak would they say we not best friends anymore? And I was thinking in my head, like, oh, huh? like, why would you even say that? I'm not going to play these childish games with anybody. See, I'm going to say who texts me. But nobody texts me. I'm not going to play these childish games with nobody at all. But uh, like I said, man, these people are going to realize what they lost at the end. So they lost whoever watching it. You lost with their friend. That's your loss, bro, because I try hard enough. And I'm going to keep playing dumb. Like, I don't notice what you're doing. And then when I really cut you off, you're going to be confused. Like, what the heck, Randy? Why you stop talking to me? Why you can't explain yourself to I'm not explaining myself to nobody, bro. I don't care who you are. I'm not explaining myself why I'm cutting you off. I'm just going to cut you off, bro. If you don't realize what you just did... Bro, you know what you did. Stop acting stupid, bro. You know, like, it's acting like you don't know what you did. I'm not going to explain myself to nobody, bro. One thing I heard from somebody said, do not explain yourself to people who don't want to realize what they did. And they know what they did, bro. Especially when they on, going, doing it to you. I understand you slipped up, you did something wrong to me once. And then, yeah, I maybe explain myself. And like, I say, well, why did you do that, blah, blah, blah. But if you keep going on and keep going on and keep going, and then you act like I'm the problem, I'm not a person who caused problems or stuff like that. But, um, yeah, bro, I love you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. More videos coming soon. Peace.